Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos have already decided to sack Eric Ten Hag, claims Paul Scholes. Manchester United legend Paul Scholes says Eric Ten Hag will be sacked this summer by Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos. The Dutchman saw his side humbled 3-1 by rivals Manchester City at the Etihad on Sunday. While Ten Hag was pleased with the performance, City dominated throughout to underline the gap between the two teams. It was the 11th defeat in 27 Premier League matches for United this term, leaving them in 6th and 11 points behind Aston Villa. Ratcliffe vowed to get United competing with the likes of City within three years after his 27.7% stake in the club was confirmed. And, while Champions League football is still possible, Scholl say Ratcliffe and Ineos have already made up their mind to get rid of him. What we're seeing is a million miles away from a team that should be challenging for the league. Every single season it's just so far away, said Scholz. I think they, Ineos, have already made their mind up. I don't think he will be there next season. No. From the interviews we've heard with Sir Jim, I thought there was a little bit of negativity towards the club the last 10 or 11 years and especially the last two years. I don't think he's happy with what's going on. I wouldn't be surprised if they're looking for a new manager now. I'm not saying it's the right decision. With new owners anyway they always tend to change the manager and especially with the way they're playing, where they are in the league and what it's been like in the last couple of seasons, I just think they'll make a change. Eric Ten Hag insists gap between Man United and Man City is very small despite losing his fourth derby out of five. Eric Ten Hag has insisted that the gap between Manchester United and Manchester City is very small following Sunday's derby at the Etihad. The Red Devils had just one shot on goal, with an overall XG of 0.19 compared to City's 3.15, as Pep Guardiola's side came from behind to secure a 3-1 victory. Ten Hag has lost four of his five Manchester derbies as United manager but the Dutchman is adamant that his side are not too far behind their noisy neighbours. Quizzed if the defeat was a reminder of the gap between United and City, Ten Hag said, No I don't think so, absolutely not. We have many problems now and injuries and still we had an opportunity. A very small margin. We could have scored the second goal. We could have scored the second goal in a debatable moment and in the second debatable moment. You see it is not that big. When we have everyone on board we can be really competitive and also we showed for instance in the FA Cup, final against them when it can be really close. But don't forget this, City is, at the moment the best team in the world. Meanwhile, Ten Hag feels United can still finish in the Premier League top 4 despite behind 11 points behind 4th placed Aston Villa with 11 games left. It can be a quick turnaround, Ten Hag added. We go to another final, against Everton next Saturday, and try to get closer. We have to go for it. We have to win our games. Fifth position can also be a position for Champions League so we have to fight for it. Marcus Rashford played through injury in Manchester Derby, confirms Eric Ten Hag. Eric Ten Hag confirmed that both Marcus Rashford and Johnny Evans played through injury in the Manchester Derby on Sunday and were forced off in the second half. The Red Devils lost 3-1 at the Etihad despite a spectacular goal from Rashford putting them ahead after just eight minutes. A double from Phil Foden and a late third from Erling Haaland gave the champions an impressive victory, but the match was made no easier for Manchester United by their ongoing injury concerns. While he didn't go into details on the problems they were suffering, Ten Hag said both Rashford and Evans pushed to be involved in the match despite not being at full fitness. We had two players on the pitch which were not 100% fit. Johnny Evans and Marcus Rashford, but they gave everything like the whole team and we are disappointed with the score, Ten Hag told Sky Sports. On their current status, he said, I don't know, I can't tell you finally they had to come off, but I preferred to keep them, Rashford and Evans because I think the organization was very good. Rashford defended well, and in the break we know his quality and he could have scored another goal. He added, they fought to be part of this game but after 60 to 70 minutes we had to take them off. That was not to our advantage. Ten Hag felt it was a good display from his team, despite the defeat which leaves his side 11 points off the top 4. I think it was a good performance overall. We went 1-0 up and we had our moments after it to score the second one, he said.
We defended very well and there were two defining moments when we nearly made a breakthrough and conceded the first goal. Then you are disappointed, we have to accept it and still were had the opportunities to at least get one point, but the win was also possible.